He will. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Listen to me. Listen to me. Today I was encouraged because a lot of times us as autism moms, people don't get it or understand it. And um, this morning, someone called me out of the blue, right? Just called me out of the blue and wanted to, um, to, to kind of collab with me, to kind of work with me and some stuff that they're doing in, in regards to their business. And um, at first, you know, I said to them, of course, absolutely. You know, this person is so close to me. It's just like, you know, it's a given. It's fine. You know, it's cool. But then, you know, when I sit down and I think about all the things that I have to get done, it's different. It's different when I think about my situation and the things that, that are like pouring into my life all at one time. And I'm not able to kind of um, get everything done in my mind about the things that I have going on. Mm -hmm. And so that person in their situation kind of is kind of put on a back burner. And so you kind of feel that sense of like. You know, hey, wait a minute, slow down, you know, take a breather. Hey, don't allow anybody to kind of overwhelm you or take you out of your box, your box of, you know, uh, sanity, your box of um, comfort, your box of, um, and when I say comfort, I'm not talking about comfort like, oh, I'm just sitting out here chilling and I'm comfortable and I want to be, you know, I want to be weak or I want to be tired or I want to, or I want to be just lazy. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the, the sense of, John, going back in there. What I'm talking about is I'm talking about being comfortable with what I have going on because I know how much I can take before, you know, it's called overload. I know how much I can take before the overload portion of it comes. You know, that overload feeling, that overload feeling that we don't really have to feel. We don't really have to feel that feeling because the Lord says that he'll give us peace. He'll give us peace. And so what I had to kind of reiterate or kind of think back in my mind is, okay, so what's my priorities? Okay, so what should I do today? And not only what should I do today, but how can I kind of contrast this situation into a situation where it's um, helping the person, but it's also kind of allowing me to kind of don't be so overwhelmed. As an autism mom, it's very easily to get overwhelmed because everything in our life is not dictated by us. It's dictated by probably our children and, and or or not only our children, their situation or the things that they need. So so we have to run over here and we have to get all this stuff and we have to run over there and get all of this stuff. Then there's really no help because nobody can kind of relieve you because nobody really don't know your child like you know. And so and then if they're nonverbal, you don't even know if something is going on or something, you know, is, um, is, is, is bothering them or somebody is bothering them or mistreating them. So it's very difficult to even allow them to go places. Now, some moms. You know, they have people in particular, they got this whole team slash village, and then, you know, they can kind of take them there. But just you have other moms that just don't even have that. You have other moms that have to sit home with them. You have at-home moms. I had a whole career, and I had, to sh I had to shut my whole career down. Why? Because I have my boys, and they're off in the summertime. And there's no kind of assistance. There's no, you know, summer camp for autistic uh, kids. They, there's nothing. So what do I do? Well, my husband and I, we have to sit here and guess what we have to do? We have to map out, okay, so who's going to watch the boys? So somebody can't work, right? Somebody got to stay home. And when you're home and you're in it, and you're in it throughout the day, you're in it throughout the night, you know, it's, it's very easily to what? Become overloaded. So if you have other people coming in and they're placing their issues and they're placing their problems and they're placing their dream into your world, it's very difficult to kind of continue moving forward. It's like it's hard. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you telling me you want to pull me out of what I got going on. Everything that I have in place and I have to be structured over here. Ain't no, I can sit down and chill. Ain't no, oh, well, I have time to just be inside. No, 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 no. Our time is very, very precious to us. We don't have our time always. You know what? Our time is pulled away from us. Our time is pulled away. And we place priorities, which is our children, in the forefront because they have special needs. Some people can't even understand the concept. There's a lot of people out here just feel like, oh, well, you know, you're normal. And you're not. You know why you ain't normal? You're like superwoman. You're doing so many things. And people don't even understand it. They don't get it. And your mind has to continually be stayed on the Lord. Why? Because at the end of the day, he gives you those things that you can't get in the outside. He give you those things for free that's in the inside that have to keep you together. Have to keep you together. And so when people call you out just this out of the blue and expect you to just jump. Oh, bro. Then you will. We can't just jump over here in this journey. Not over here in this lane. <laughs> 
I got to plan everything. My husband, we got to plan everything. Ain't no, oh, well, we can just get up and go. Get up and sure, let's do it. Let's go. Nah, bro. No, who gonna be there? Do I have somebody watching my boys? Uh, do you mind if your stuff get messed up? Do you mind if your food get ate out of the refrigerator? Do you mind if, you know, one of them, you know, pee all over their, your, your floor or your bathroom while we're there? You know, do you mind? Do you mind having a conversation when it's like noise after noise and, and iPads and cell phones and repetitive stuff going on over and over? Do you mind? Do you mind being asked a thousand times the same thing? You okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Every, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Because I know that I can't put you in a place of business. I can't I can't go to a place of business and then talk business or walk business and I have my boys. I can't do that. I refuse to be, and say this with me, I refuse to be overwhelmed. I refuse to be overwhelmed. I state what I can do. I provide the things that I can provide. I will be happy. I will not be frustrated. I will not be pulled. I will have a great, like, like you have to continually state these things because people don't understand your situation. So you always have to put yourself first. And if you don't have it in line now, it's okay. Hey, you, it's okay. We all learn it. We all learn it. I know for sure I'm learning. I'm learning each and every day and I can't do it without him. And I'm learning in a way like never before. That's why I want to tell y'all because when you're in this journey and no one tells you that's walking the same walk you walk in. You know, they got to walk with you. You can't put on my shoes. You know why? Because you can't, you, 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 you don't even understand. You don't even understand what you put, you know, what you don't even, when you put my shoes, you don't even understand what you about to go through. You ain't never seen it done. You ain't never seen it unless you have a child with autism. And it still look different. It still look different. So when you frustrated or you feel confused or you feel like crying or you feel like venting or you feel like, you know, why is she doing this or it's sad because you can't go this way or that way. And then, nah, throw them out the door and know to don't allow people to dictate your life. On this journey, our journeys are different. We can't do with the average person. Yeah, our children are special needs, but we can't do what the average adult can do. And we have to realize that. We have to realize that and we have to realize that and let people know that's around us, that's in our world, that's supposed to be, you know, in, in the midst of our crew or in the midst of our team or our family, okay? Or our friends or what co-workers, whoever that's in your life. They got to realize, hey, I can't pick up and go. I can't do it. I can't do it. And that's not it. So at the end of the day, this is what we're going to say. Today, what we're going to work on, this old fabulous Friday, this is what we're going to work on. We're going to work on being consistent and steady. We're going to work on our routine. We're going to work on making sure that people that know us know how our world is. And we won't feel slighted or feel no type of way if we have to say no. We're not. We're not going to feel no type of way if we have to say no. We can't. Why? Because nobody was dealt the same cards we were dealt. When they feel like they can come over here and they can allow you to tell, okay, well, give me two days. Let me get, give me, the, hey, let, let me drop off my kids for about four hours so I can go do some stuff. Every Wednesday and Thursday. And you see how long that's going to last. And that's just three, four hours. So let me tell you, you're special. You're beautiful. You're courageous. You're strong. You're, you're, your endurance is everything. Nobody can do it like you do it. Nobody can walk like you walk. Nobody can move like you move. So at the end of the day, if they have something that they would ask you or they say, oh, hey, I want you to do this, I need you to do this, I need you to do this, right now, right now, right now. Hold up. Hold up, bruh. Because I didn't ask you to come over here last night at 2.30 and say, come over here and sleep so I can, so I can get me some, Come over here and watch the boys so I, can, so I can get some sleep. Come over here and do this so I can go over here. Come over here and do this. No. Mm -hmm. So we got to make sure we take care of ourselves. That's why our self-development is so, so, so important. Our personal development is so important. It's so important. Our minds are set on anticipation. Anticipate waiting patiently. We're waiting excitingly on the things to come for our children. That's in the forefront of our minds. So everything that's around it has to make sure it works in consistency to what I have going on here. Because if not, what's going to happen is you're going to burn out or you're going to lose it or you're going to snap on somebody or it's going to turn into a bad situation. We have to be 
consistent in managing our ways of moving. The stuff on the outside of us, I promise you, is going to try to pull you all these kind of ways. Here, in this journey, riding on this journey, we can't be pulled like that. We got to plan before we pull <laughs> for it to be cool. I'm telling you. It's going to always try to, try to block you and mess you up. So today I tell you, this weekend, do something good for yourself. Make sure you do something good for yourself. If you can't do something, oh well, it's gonna be hey, the person got to, the people got to figure it out. Don't be, don't be, don't be slighted, don't be scared, don't be sad about it, don't, don't, don't regret it, don't do anything like that because nobody, I promise you, nobody can do it like you do. Nobody can walk the walk like you do. Nobody can do or fill your shoes but you. Trust and believe me. And once we get this stuff down pat and you pour into your child that you're just like you're doing right now, don't let nobody tell you that you're not. Because you are. As you continually pour into your child, you're going to begin this and you begin to have boundaries from the outside. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't let nothing overwhelm you. Mm -mm, you don't deserve that. That's what happens. Huh. Stuff begin to change. Stuff begin to change. And, get, and stuff will slowly get better and better and better and better and better. Mm -hmm. Trust God. Trust Jesus. Love God and love his people. But make sure that everybody respects, honors, and I promise you, your boundaries. I promise you that things will get better. I promise you that things will get better. And those people that try to pull you, they're going to learn real quick that you can't do that. You got, you got, to, you got to plan before you, before, you, before you act. And that's just on period. All right, I'm going to have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Make sure you enjoy yourself, love on yourself, love everything that's around you, and always remember, it always seems impossible until it's done. Until Monday, I'll talk to you soon.